Hi guys, Woody here. Welcome back. Episode 29. You can't win anything with kids. We are finding life in the championship a bit of a struggle. Um, as you can see here, we are 19th. Um, it's the 17th of December. We've got Bristol City today. Uh, having a look at our past fixtures, we drew those first two games with you guys, Mansfield and Gillingham. Uh, then we went on and beat Halifax 4-3 in the... Um, <clears throat> League Cup first round, so uh, Kane Dean saving up blushes there at the end. Uh, then we went on and beat Reading 2-1. Thompson and Starkey getting on the board there. Beat Birmingham 2-0. McCudgey and Clarkson. At this point, I was thinking, brilliant. This is going well. We drew one all with Hull. All right, the goalkeeper got man of the match. Fine. Then we managed to pull out a 1-2-3-4 game losing streak. Uh, four game losing streak in the league and including a nil or a, a 2 nil loss to Gillingham in the League Cup uh, second round. So it was that 2 1 loss to Burnley with Vidra bagging one there uh, in the 70th minute. A 3 1 loss to Palace where Fitzgerald came, Fitzgerald, sorry, Trevor Redmond came in and gave a 5 performance. That was brilliant. Um, 2 1 to Barnsley. And uh, Cardiff beating us 2-0 as well with some poor performances there from uh, Bobby McGuinness and Chris Starkey. So it wasn't going too well. We then really, really grittily dug in and won a game against Watford 1-0 uh, thanks to a Holmes goal and a Trevor Redmond man of the match performance. So we have Bristol City who are 8th, Huddersfield 7th and Middlesbrough who are 21st. Now we are 19th in the league after 10 games, 3 wins, 3 draws, 4 losses, it's not, not, it's not too bad. We're in luck because Birmingham, Reading, Swansea, Millsborough and Rotherham are absolutely abysmal. So we're in luck that those 5 teams are really quite poor um, and that is kind of saving us here because it doesn't take a lot you know, for them to get a couple more points and all of a sudden uh, we're a lot closer than 8 points away from that. Swansea relegation spot. We're also a long way from the uh, from here. Only seven really f from Stoke. So anyway, we're gonna try and turn this around. Uh, stats wise, since I left you, Alan Thompson's been playing really well. Chris Lynch uh, had his three good games off the bench at the start of the season, and then I dropped him for Redmond. I'm not sure that's an option. Uh, uh, was a good call now, but Redmond, <laughs> I don't know. Redmond also has been capped at under 21 level, so good on him. Uh, Jack Newell is playing quite well, or oh, he still wants to leave. Leighton Clarkson, pretty good. Uh, Jordi Etten uh, has played a few games. He looks pretty good, filling in left back today because Kane Dean is suspended. Um, oh, uh, Lewington, yeah, not bad, but once we get in there, there's a lot of uh, sixes. George Nkaidi, three goals. Chris Starkey, three. Ross Holmes, three. Uh, where is Will Gurney? Two. Will Gurney, English under 21 cap now. If we have a look here, um, we'll just quickly do this. He's played one, two, three. So he played four games. He's played four games for England under 21s, and he's scored what? Two, three. 4-5 here, 6, 4 caps, 6 goals, so he is an absolute gun for the under 21s, Big George not getting a look in though, I mean he's 22 so that's probably why, anyway, we've got Bristol City today, we have played them once, we played them in the FA Cup first round 3 years ago and they beat us 1-0, can we have a look here, if we have a look, Colin Johnson, oh, Matt Creswell, Tom Smith, Sam Green, Sterling Brown, who remembers him? So we will go into that game. Anyway. Anyway. This is how we're lining up today. The usuals, I guess. Redmond's still in goal. I say the usuals. Ethens at left back. McIntyre, Thompson and Heath there. Newell at the bottom. Klutz and Helberg in the middle. Starkey. Gurney's playing out on the right. I've played him out on the right last couple of games. Uh, and he seems to have done all right. So we'll we'll try this. Uh, McIntyre's going to be captain. We'll drop that down to medium. And let us kick the game off. We didn't even check Bristol City anymore. Um, see if they've got anyone and what the formula, <laughs> what tactics they're playing, what formula they're playing. 
They're playing the E equals MC squared formula. Um, so Bristol, just outside the playoffs, they'll be looking to get in there, but we we have the quality. We have the quality. Oh, turn down a penalty there. Uh, to be better than we we get in, Nakaji. Um, to be better than we are at, at, at the moment. I did think this was going to be... Oh, two penalties turned down now, and Starkey's got to go off. Sorry, I'm just bring up Ross Holmes. Um, I did think this season would be a bit of a struggle. Um... With us being in the championship, the step up from League One there is a lot bigger uh, than the step up from, uh, you know, the League Two, League One. Um, but you know, and there's Will Gurney getting in at halftime. We are looking the business. We are looking the business. Jordy Evans just probs a bit tired, I reckon. Let's get the game underway. This, is, this would be a good win for us, of course. Back up the table. <laughs> Uh, and obviously, as I say that, uh, Czech Diaby bangs in his second of the game. Brilliant. There's the goalkeeper. Just, just, I don't know, Redmond. I guess he's an under 21s. It's, it's his acceleration. I bang on about it every episode. Bang on about it every single episode. And it's not a lot I can do about it, really. Um, there is not a lot I can do about it. It. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here to make some changes, really. If it's, I guess, Clayton Clarkson on seven, uh, Jack Newell, Mark Lewis. It's good. Let me bring Mark Lewis on if I can. Yep, Mark Lewis on for Clayton Clarkson. And uh, we'll leave that there. We'll try that. Uh, but Bristol City really getting back into this. They have had as many shots as we have. Redmond's on a seven. Um, Big George! Oh, Nakaji offside. To be honest, away from home, I would take a two or draw. Um, I do feel like we've got the ability to win, though, so. <sighs> Big George, he, he had a storming game. Um, that's alright, it's a draw, it's another point. It just keeps us pulling away from that trash at the bottom. Oh, Starkey up for a month. Oh, you are kidding me. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. <sighs> like I said, it's going to be a tough season, but, you know, it is what it is. These are the rules. Uh, hopefully we can bring in some quality from uh, across Europe this season. Uh, Looks to build on that next year, and we can um, then look to push on next year. Huddersfield in ninth, and Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough one, I'm definitely. Although they have just been Birmingham, although Birmingham are absolutely abysmal. Um, so that Middlesbrough one, I'm teeing that up for three points. Um, the hardest field one, you know, we we grab a draw there. Oh, I'd I'd be happy with that. I think. Um, and we'll see. We're back to the hardest field game. We've got some tired players. I've brought in Tom Smith for Geordie Etten. He is just a little bit too tired to play. Uh, everyone else should be okay, although. Uh, it probably will be tough, but I feel like I can rotate against um, Middlesbrough a bit more. We've never played Huddersfield. In that case, let's do the Dean Henderson in goal. Have I got bloody Dean Henderson in goal? I've literally got... I mean, he's not in the squad anymore, but... See, look, have a look at this. David Graham. Goalkeeper regen. Acceleration 1. This guy is an actual person. Acceleration 9. Now you have a look here at the under-21s as well. Rowe, Birmingham, regenerated goalkeeper. Acceleration 5. Um, and Sean Stewart at Leeds. He's actually got acceleration of 9. Um, still. Anyway, enough of that. Who else have got? Uh, Jaroslaw Jack. Yeah, we spoke for Crystal Palace. Yeah. Bit on and off there. 
Ah, Macaulay Bond. Who remembers Macaulay Bond from our Saving Berry Save? That was, uh, he was a legend, a Zimbabwean. Uh, anyway, let's kick the game off before I fall into some sort of bigger champ manhole, alternate universe and all that. Oh my god, Huddersfield. They're in first shot on target after seven minutes. Sean Turner. He looks good. How did Oh god. How did I not get this guy? The hell? Ugh. That's not cool. Nineteenth still, <laughs> still hovering about that nineteenth spot. Like I said, mid, mid table obscurity is <laughs> is the goal for this season. And there's Big George, never out of it when we've got players like George Nakaji and Will Gurney in the team. But far out when we give away a bloody penalty like that. <clears throat> that really just undermines everyone's hard work. Oh, it's a penalty turned down. What happened in the 37th minute? Uh, Drewsby Hall has shirt pulled by Newell. Oh, Jackie boy. Uh, everyone's okay. Will Gurney Ross Holmes are on sixes. It's a problem. I'm trying to kind of shoehorn Will Gurney into the team out on the right um, where he's not ideally suited. I mean, I suppose I could retrain him uh, to play there. It's good acceleration. He dribbles well. He's fast. You know, he's a bit of flair. Um, can we compare him to someone like Rossi Rosso, who is technically a winger? I mean, Rosso is a slightly better winger than him. Anyway, um, with that being said, Lewis Hughes can come on for Will Gurney. Tommy Smith's foot injury, just suck it up, mate. Um... Uh, Ross Holmes isn't playing well near this Dan Heath. Bloody hell. Uh, let's get Scott, Scott Smith on, who's done done a little bit of business for me. One of our most expensive players at 100k. Um, Jack Newell is on a 7. He's on a yellow. All right, let's kick that off and try and do something. We've only had two shots on target. We're just not creating enough chances. Could it be time for a tactics change? I am very, very loath. Um, to change my tactics um, if you've not discovered that already which you probably have and this looks like it's going to go down for a loss at home unless we can get past uh, Dean Henderson who's on an 8 unlikely when we're not really making much chances come on, one more, one more ah, could have finished it <sighs> the penalty there cost us, cost us, cost us, cost us. Still down in 19th. Well, the room are gaining on us though. It wasn't a great victory. It was not a great victory. Hmm. It could be time for a little tactics change. I did make a slight change to the tactics for the Watford game. Um, I changed our passing from sh direct, I think it was, to short. Sometimes that's just all that it takes um, to um, change the tactic. You don't have to go crazy and change all this and that. Um, you know, just changing the passing style can sometimes just be enough. To um <clears throat> to have the uh, the computer sort of I guess rethink. I know it doesn't learn tactics. Um, it, it shouldn't do so. Yeah, I just changed uh, direct to uh, short. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know. 
We tried the two strikers thing and I wonder if I can I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what will, what is going on with this stupid thing? I don't, why can't, get in there, Will Gurney. I don't know what Will Gurney's adaptability is like. Um, if he's got poor adaptability, he's not going to like that. He's going to crack it about the training. He's still young enough to change his position and, and make him that right forward. Um, we can try and play him out on the right there. Um, and hopefully that kind of, you know, shift in his uh, mentality. Birmingham winning a game against uh, one of the other hapless teams in the championship. Um, sorry, Birmingham Swansea fans don't mean that, but, you know, we are five years in the future here in some weird alternative universe on a 20-year-old game, so... How's Aaron Connolly doing? He must be doing right, Gillingham. He is. I mean, he's really not a... Um, so he's not a championship player, but he was playing for Brentford. Ugh. My reserves lose. Everyone's shot. We've got a couple of days still. A couple of days yet. Righto. <sighs> Middlesbrough. Um, everyone should be pretty good for this. Still no KD. How many games did he bloody cop? One more game. He's playing quite well this season. Chris Stark, Ethan Marshall. Gabriel Pagani is out as well. He's torn groin muscle. <clears throat> uh, disappointing for him. Uh, I think we're probably going to stay this. No, that's not the game I want. This is the game I want. Probably going to stay the same, really. Uh, I might. I'm going to try Will Gurney out here. Again. Just because um, we have played Middlesbrough once before, they beat us 3 2 last year. Mm. Oh, Redmond. Keep keep the faith. Keep the faith. Okay, 4 3 3. Very similar to I am. Morgan Gibbs White. Very different team from the one who uh, who beat us last year, and that could be why they are they are struggling. This is a must. Oh, thank God for that! This is a must-win game for us. Absolute must-win. It's a relegation six-pointer, uh, I believe is the uh, the technical term uh, for it. Come on. I feel like it's been all us. I say that with our one shot on goal. Come on, boys. Still one shot on goal. <sighs> Ooh, I love that. How good was that commentary? Nikaji and FC United. What a combination. You have to go back and have a look at that. Duck. That's not what you want them to score right before halftime. Anyway, let's go back to the good thing that I was focusing on. So here, look at here. Kiss the United badge on his shirt. It doesn't even say it, but still. The commentary came up there. You believe me all. We saw it. Uh, Alan Thompson, oh, foot injury. He is injury prone. This is top quality. Jack Newell as well. Fridge. Yeah. Uh, Jack Newell's on a six. We'll bring him off. We'll leave Thompson. One shot on target as well. That's just. It's just that. I'm, I'm convinced the problem with Trevor Redmond 
and I'm going to say again is his acceleration that's just, and his pace is 6 he's too bloody slow if you've got reflexes you put you put this up maybe maybe that one a little bit as well and he is like he is an absolute monster goalkeeper then <clears throat> but at the moment just not quite there um Bradley Lewington on, I guess. Leighton Clarkson is struggling a little bit um, with this step up as well. Well, I say that though. 7.21 is actually playing better than he did last year, so uh, interesting. Um, we'll go he's on a yellow card. Other than that, this is going to be a draw. Yeah, we should have won this. Oh, it's a penalty. Ooh, big George. All right, we're gonna no defensive long, normal. Pressing yes, behind the ball. We're just gonna, just gonna grind this game out. We may have to start doing things like this to um. See the game out. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. It's stuffed. This is not good. I'm supposed to penalty take his ear. Well, I'm just here. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Just, just, I don't know. <sighs> anyway, guys, a little bit of a disappointing episode. Two two draw with Bristol City. That was good. The loss to Huddersfield wasn't great, and uh, we should have beat Middlesbrough. Then we are 18th on the championship, so we have pulled ourselves up a space. Thank God we have Borough, Swansea, Reading, Birmingham who are really, really struggling. Uh, hopefully we can turn this one around. Um, Stoke, Coventry, West Brom, Swansea, Blackburn, Rotherham, Norwich, Reading, QPR, Charlton, Gillingham. Back with Mansfield there. We might oh, bring it back for some games. We might win. I got Reading there. Was Reading somewhere? I'm sure Reading was somewhere. There he was. December, we might come back, oh, Norwich, Reading, uh, and QPR towards the end of the season there, or, or maybe just a little bit here, uh, and then we can try for the, uh, we've got the FA Cup coming in there. Uh, don't forget guys, if you want your uh, name in the game, uh, we've got these guys here, just give us a yell out and I'll change their names over to a name you uh, suggest. Uh, other than that guys, uh, please, <coughs> excuse me, please hit that like button, uh, it does mean a lot. Um, comment and once again if you aren't subscribed and you do watch these regularly if you could do that that would be great I'm trying to hit 100 we're up to 90 so it's only really 10 more tell a friend we'll catch you guys next time bye